Hey guys, so a short video today about hair because I was thinking about it for some time when I was observing lots of uh, pictures of women and also as I was looking on different women outside what is the most universal haircut I would say for any body type for any face shape I can tell you only my viewpoint and if you disagree or agree please write me in the comments I'm pretty interested in your opinion of course we have a huge history of hairdos first it was many centuries then centuries then it was decades like in 20th century right for example in the 80s we have a very certain kind of a hairdo they liked perms they like loads of layers or in the 60s they like huge calm hair and it's very interesting to look at that what I would suggest now let's Let's say she's completely confused. She has long hair, she doesn't like it anymore, or she doesn't feel attractive, or she doesn't feel like it looks great on her. Let's talk about naturally straight hair. First of all, pixie cut is not for everyone. It can create some disproportion in some cases. It can add some disproportion to where there was no disproportion before. And it has a bit narrower space for freedom within that look. It requires a certain style. Some women look sexier with that pixie cut. And some women lose some sexiness as they feel when they do that pixie or very short hair. Long hair. On one hand, long hair is perfect for every woman. As the hair is growing, especially when it's very straight, these women can have a feeling that it's very thinned in the end. It's not full, it doesn't look as healthy, and it drags some features down. It happens sometimes with some body types, and sometimes it requires some more time to get ready, to lift them up, sometimes it can give that tired effect. However, if you have long straight hair, you can spend some time with an iron. In the end, you can have an amazing hairdo. So basically you have a lot of material to work with, right? So that's a plus thing. So from my opinion, for straight hair, slightly elongated long bob or elongated bob would be the most universal thing. When I say elongated bob, I don't mean any bangs, I don't mean any layers by your face, and I don't mean layers on your head. However, some people might feel like the top of their head is pretty flat, so they always feel they have a lack of volume. So for these people, that can be even better to cut their hair slightly shorter, still very feminine because they have it here by their neck. They can make their top hair slightly shorter by doing it, but it should be done very accurate. If you're interested, I will show you how to do this. That would be easier to style them. This hair will be lighter, so it will stand up always as you dry them, and it will give you some volume on top and then it will be beautiful volume here. For women who feels like their face is not symmetrical, they can make it look symmetrical but by doing side parting. And the most important thing, where you do this, relax your face, make a picture from the distance and then you should see which part of your face is slightly heavier, slightly lower. I never seen symmetrical faces. Every face is more or less asymmetrical. They are asymmetrical in different ways. One part of the face, kind of one eye, can be slightly lower. So that part of the face, let's say, it looks kind of lower. If you do partial here, then that part will look even lower because the weight of the hair will push on it. It will look lower. So make it opposite. So if that part of your face is slightly disproportionate, slightly lower, make the part in here. Make that part of your hair heavier. So that will make it more proportionate. If you have a lot of softness on your face, and by the way, it doesn't matter if your face is super wide, super chubby, or super slim, or super long, or oval, or bony, or fleshy it doesn't matter now it looks great in all of the cases of course right color matters as well and right shaping for example if you are very rounded and very soft and you have loads of curves if you make the bob very blunt like that too much geometric things to it it can kind of play as a contrast you will look slightly rounder and that hair will look slightly more separate from you as if you're wearing a wig or something if you make it elongated and make that front line longer up to this point let's say let's say the rest is somewhere in the middle of your neck or slightly higher and then make it closer to this lower than your chin big 
front line here. That will make your face absolutely sophisticated. You won't even need to hide the sides of your face by that. Even if you feel like your face is too round and too wide and you don't like it, forget about it. Show your face to everyone. These lines make the look very clean. If you style it a little bit with a brush, then it will lie down here. You can make it behind your ear or you can leave it like that. You can make different partings. If your face is very symmetrical, like very classic face, you can do the parting here in the middle and you can ask your hairdresser to do it end by end on the same level. Or if there's any asymmetry or disproportion, you can make one thing heavier and lower, another side slightly shorter but still elongated. If you have these things elongated, you won't need to do loads of layering or to lighten the silhouette of your hair because it will be light enough, but at the same time it will have some body and body gives us healthy look on the hair. Also, cut it dead ends look absolutely fresh. And it's important thing here is that front line would be as long as possible, not like super layery here. Even if some of you have like bangs that is growing, you can cut it like into that line and then later it will grow there. If the front line is solid, it always looks sophisticated and very sexy. You won't make mistakes in this case. Let's say if you are very sharp, Again, same thing, those sharp ends will add you that sharpness, that boldness of the hair will give you that geometric feeling as well. Or you can make just straight bob, very straight, no layers, nothing, just very straight cut. That will look amazing. The most universal length, I think, it starts from the middle of the neck. If you are scared, if you feel like you won't feel as feminine as you want, uh, start with lower. Start somewhere here. See, if you start too low, then your hair will naturally lie down like this. It will curl up and you will wait for some time until it grows lower here. It will kind of lie on your shoulders. There will be lack of volume because the air will not go inside here. It will kind of repeat the line of your neck. So I would go for shorter because it grows anyway, like that. Some of you might feel like you look amazing with bangs. Bangs is another subject. I'll make a separate video about bangs, how we can predict it that looks good or not. And today I'm only talking about no bangs. If your hair is wavy, I would suggest do same. Don't go for bangs first, just wait. Just see how that lies on your face. Because that line by the face is very important. If your hair is wavy naturally, then this line, if it's just one solid line and it goes below your chin, it can add amazing structure to your face. You can try and do same. Bob slightly elongated, maybe slightly asymmetrical. And by the way, for straight hair, for curly hair and for very curly hair, I would not suggest to go over the top and do super elongated like some people do. It became very stylish several years ago and then as every stylish thing, it gets exaggerated in some time. You know that thing? When they kind of do this and then they make it twice more. It happens same with elongated bob. They started basically shaving their back and then going like very, very long, long, long straight line here, some long hair here. From my viewpoint, it ruins. It ruins the structure of the hair. It takes away the body of the hair on the back. It, it just doesn't make sense. We're doing this for life. If she's walking down the street, it looks like a dog's ears, you know, like they're just blowing on the wind because they get too light. So it kind of doesn't make sense and it doesn't look as beautiful, I think. So again, if you have wavy hair, like in the middle of the neck, lower here, looks amazing. Or just blunt bob. Of course, it depends on how your hair lies, how your waves lie. Some girls sometimes are very upset with the way their wavy hair behave and they get very hard to handle sometimes. So sometimes I think you can resolve this problem just by waiting and cutting the blunt cut. One hair lies on top of the other hair and it's very important what kind of cut we have. And your hair gets used to that new cut. The hair itself starts shaping the waves differently. The more hair we have, the healthier that looks. You will still have more volume because you already have wavy hair and for girls with straight hair they can also use the curling iron and do so many variety of 
different curls and waves, such a field for experiments. These girls with wavy hair, some look amazing with bangs that is wavy. I love this shaggy silhouette very much. However, we need to see the structure of the face more and we want to talk about bangs later. What I'm sure about is about this straight line by the face, which is slightly lower than your chin. It's always a win. That's my personal viewpoint. It makes the structure of the face clearer, makes the face more flat, the parts of the face get more equal. If you're struggling with bigger this or smaller that, or you feel like it's disbalanced, that's a great way to bring balance back to your face by that line. You can get it away from your face, open your face, show it, to show your cheekbones, not to hide it. It gives that very flattish effect on the face in a good sense of the word. And if it's afro, very very curly hair. I know it's hard to handle and I know it stands up like this. What is great about it, it has a lot of volume, it has a lot of shagginess and different balayage techniques work amazing on afro hair. We're gonna talk about different balayage techniques for different hair types a bit later in my other video. Let's say girl with afro hair doesn't want to straighten them. I think that Ball look amazing. Approximately same length like that works amazing on afro hair. Also, there are loads of different products now that will not dry them, just make the curls more defined. This length will be enough to do buns here, to do beautiful different hair accessories here. I love it so much. Again, it doesn't matter, I think, what is the shape of your face. It can be very wide or very long and I think that will look amazing, very fresh, very full and with beautiful style down there and with cool makeup or even no makeup with some accessories maybe, with some interesting shoes that will look just gorgeous. The hair itself adds a lot to the look but it's not everything. We always have to think about head to toe. Alright, that's it. I hope it was helpful. It's more like an opinion, like an observation video so let me know in the comments what do you think about this? Did you try that? Did you like or did you maybe grow your hair back and why? And I'm gonna see you very soon. Bye-bye!